Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at uh, formatting dates in Swift. Um, so let me show you a few methods of how you could format dates. So I'm going to start by making uh, a, a variable that holds date. So we're going to go var my date equals date. And this essentially holds a date. So if I go ahead and print my date here, you're going to see that it prints this weird date. Um, it's an accurate date, but it's not really that accurate. So if I printed it, it says uh, 2018, December 5th, um, 12, 11, 36. Well, that's not the current time because I live in Toronto and that's not the current time. This is the Greenwich time um, and it's got this plus zero, 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 which we don't like. So let me show you how you could format the date um, in any way, shape or form you want. So I could create a, a, a date formatter. So I'm going to call this let my date formatter formatter right you could call this variable whatever you want and make it of type date formatter so that is actually a built-in uh, uh, it's built into Swift and using this uh, date formatter I could set it to anything I want so if I go my date formatter dot date format equals and now I could put a string and in this string I could format the date in any way shape or form I want so I'm gonna go years uh, the months is an uppercase M you'll see why it's a uppercase M lowercase d for days and let's say I want the hours uppercase H um, maybe I want to put a colon lowercase m's for minutes and uppercase m for months and I'm gonna go lowercase seconds so now I've got this format let's say I want uh, the format to be like this give me the year give me the month give me the day give me the hour the minute and the seconds so I've got my format here so how do I use this variable that holds the date to show up in this format instead of this weird format? Very simple. Uh, all I have to do is type in my date formatter, right? Because that's what I called it, dot string from date. And the date, I have to pass in a date. Well, my date holds of a, a variable type date. So if I go ahead and print this, you'll see that this prints, well, it's right here you'll see that this prints something that is identical to my format. And you have to understand, this is a string literal. So if I go ahead and put a lot of space here, it'll print exactly like that, okay? Um, and, you know, for example, let's say I don't want the day, I just want the month, the year, the month, the hour, minute, and seconds. Surely enough, keep your eyes on the five, so the five will disappear. So I could format this in any way I want. Cool. So that's one way you could really customize your formatting in any way, shape, or form you want. The other thing I want to show you is actually there's pre-built formatting options. Um, so if I go in and uh, I have this in a um, code snippet here, but let me show you this uh, real quick. There's a pre-formatted uh, notations dot none dot short dot medium dot long and dot full. And this is what it looks like. So let me show you how to use it here. So I've created here um, a variable called current date. And all you have to do is set it to date formatter dot localized string. And then you have to say from and you have to pass in a date variable um, and then say the date style and the time style. So if I go ahead and print current date here and because I have it at dot long and dot full, you'll see that it, it shows it this way. If I change this to watch if I change this to dot uh, medium and dot medium you'll see that it should change to look something like this and surely enough it does so uh, what I need you to know is that there's pre-formatted dates if you really want to use the built-in uh, formats that Apple provides you or you could do an absolute custom one uh, using this method right here. Awesome. Hope you've enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.